with your animations done, it's time to export and share your creations. In this demo, we'll use Clip Studio Paint for the animation, DaVinci Resolve for editing, and After Effects for compositing. Let's dive in. To export your animations, go to File, then uh, Export Animation. Here you have uh, options. The first one is Image Sequence, Animated GIF, then Movie, Export Animation Cells, and the Exposure Sheet. The first one is so we'll go with movie, then uh, select where you want uh, to save your animation. For me, I'll go to render, then you need to indicate or rename your animation. For me, this is a blink animation, so I'll just write blink, then uh, save. It will give you some settings here. No need to change, but make sure that your frame rate is set to 24. Also, if you have uh, camera movements, make sure that you check this box, apply 2D camera effects, then hit enter, okay? Like that. And Clip Studio Paint will export your animation. So if you go to the folder that you selected, you can see the Blink animation here. And you can play it. The next method is using image sequence to export your animation. This is necessary if you have, if you want to, to export separate cells or you want to composite in a different software. To export your animations, go to File, Export Animation, Image Sequence. Here, make sure that you, you create a folder where you want your animations to be exported to. So I'll click this icon here, Browse. Then uh, I'll, I'll choose where I want my folder to be in. In my case, I want it to be in the Blink folder. So I'll create a new folder and name this as A. Select folder. Then make sure that your file prefix is, uh, is related to the cell that you want to export. Right? For instance, it can be cell A or B. For me, I just want it, uh, I want to export it as one cell, so I'll name it as A. I prefer my cells to start with one. Then uh, file, file type, make sure it's uh, PNG or JPEG. Alternatively, in anime, we mostly use a Targa sequence, but that will do it in uh, After Effects when you're compositing. Then uh, the area you want to export, you can either choose output frame, overflow frame, or entire canvas. Output frame is the range where your camera can only see. The entire canvas, for, for, the, for this case, I want to export the entire canvas. Eh? So I'll select entire canvas. Make sure you check apply 2D camera effects if your animation has some camera work. Then here you have exp uh, export range. Also make sure that the frame rate is set to 24. Then hit OK. Once exported, your images will be shown as individual PNGs. You need to import these in DaVinci Resolve. To properly import image sequence in the machine resolve, make sure that you are in the media pool, the first page in the machine resolve, and make sure that frame display mode is set to sequence, not auto or individual. Because if it's in individual, you'll just see individual frames and not animation. So select all your, your image sequence, and select the first image and the last image holding shift. Then drag all your image sequences in uh, the media pool. Once you're done, go to edit page or cut page and drag your image sequence in the timeline. To export the animation, go to deliver. You can choose the presets here like YouTube. Name your animation. For me, I'll call this blink. Then browse the folder of which you, you want to export your animations to. Then save. Here you can decide whether you want a vertical resolution or 
horizontal re resolution. In most cases, the resolution is going to be 1920 by 1080. But if you want uh, a vertical resolution, you can use 1080 by 1920 or 1080 by 1080 for square resolution. The format is MP4. Then press add to render queue. Once your animation is in the queue, you can press render queue or render all. And that's a wrap. Now you're ready to share your finished animations with the world. In the next video, we'll dive into compositing your animations in After Effects. Big thanks to my Patreon and channel members for supporting the channel. Be sure to check out Clips Paint and DaVinci Resolve. Links are in the description. See you in the next one.